Hey guys, it's Jess. Really wish I could do the like record scratch sound. That's like, you're probably wondering how I got here. No, it's not like that. So for this plan with me, I actually filmed a, another video that involved me putting down the base of this week. So the bottom washi, the glitter headers, the full boxes, all of the overlays and the deco. I actually did a video like me talking through it, a talk through video if you will, of me putting down the base of this week, which is basically, base basically, how I put down um, the foundation of every spread every week. A lot, of you, a lot of you guys have been like asking about it, so I figured I would do that video, but that means in this video, it kind of awkwardly just starts at the sidebar. I do place down the sidebar in this video, but I just noticed I like don't have the hand waving, I don't have showing off the kit. I am using the just kit is this Jessa oh boy I really oh, let me go check what kit this is okay I was right it was the Jessa kit from Scribble Prince Co so if you want to see me put down the base of the week you guys can go ahead and check that video out I will have it linked down below in all of my future videos in case you're new and you're wondering um, what happens during the part that gets sped through the fastest during all of my videos. So without further ado, here is this week's plan with me. Okay, so starting with the sidebar, I have that full box over there covering the thankful thought with a rose gold overlay from Scribble Prints Co. All of the foil that I use in this video is the rose gold from Scribble Prints Co. So I went ahead and actually changed up the sidebar. Oh my god, what? Yeah, so I changed up the sidebar this week, which is not permanent because it's already sort of obsolete. I am going to do something a little different, so I'm going to tweak it kind of like a hybrid between what I used to do and this one. But for this week, I went ahead and first put down a habit tracker, and then underneath that, I put down the matching mini three heart checklist, and I did that twice. So for both habit trackers, one was to track habits in the morning, and one was to track habits at night. The main reason I wanted to do the morning one is so that I remember to make my bed, which I don't have a really big problem with because I don't like leaving it unmade for some reason anymore, which when I was younger, you couldn't pay me to make my bed but yeah um and then I wanted to drink coffee so I just put that in there because I wanted the evenness of a three heart checklist and then to brush my teeth which I brush my teeth every day but I used to just eat and drink coffee first because I figured the coffee would stain my teeth and all that anyway so it would make sense to wash my teeth after breakfast brush my teeth after breakfast but sometimes I would do that and then wait kind of Oh, a decent amount of time before I actually got to brushing them so I wanted to make sure I brushed them but now as you guys will learn during this week I got Invisalign so um if you hear a weird lisp that's why I don't think I have one but I might not be picking up on it and um I have to brush my teeth basically all the freaking time now so the morning kind of habit tracker is obsolete I already planned and put down the base for next week so the um the what is it the sidebar stays the same so after the two habit trackers and the two mini heart checklists, I went ahead and used the squared off half box that comes on the freebie with this kit of the little munchkin in the corner, like the little fangirl one. And I grabbed a foiled number three. Um, is it in silver? Oh, I guess I didn't have, did I not have rose gold? I guess I didn't have a rose gold number, so I put down silver because I feel like this kit could have either pulled silver or rose gold and since I don't use um, rose gold very often I really wanted to bring that in plus the scribble prince co rose gold is kind of like pink so I thought it would be really cute for this spread but yeah so I put down a silver number three and wrote weeks until spring break and then I put down a thick piece of pattern washi along with a to-do header over top of that and then I grabbed one ombre heart checklist and cut off the excess covering the bit that remains with a piece of washi and I have a teeny tiny to-do list so then I went ahead and filled everything out all the pens tweezers white out which those are new additions to the description box down below all of that will be listed and linked down below as as well as every single sticker shop that I use and mention just in case I don't mention it all the shops will always be listed down below but if you have any specific questions you guys can always leave them in the comments and I will get back to you 
within three to five business days. That's not true. I get back fairly quickly unless I'm having an off week, but that only happens like once or twice a month. So yeah, moving on to a Monday, the first thing I wanted to put down was that I wrote, did I write publish plan with me? That's a straight up lie because I did not put up a plan with me on this day. Well, I guess it is kind of a plan with me. All right, fine. I didn't totally lie. But this is the day that I put up my how I set up my week video using this kit. So if you've ever been curious, like I said in the beginning of how I do the part that I speed through. So like putting down the full boxes, why I put them, where I put them. Um, that's all in that video, which I will have linked down below, like I already said. So yeah, I put down a, a little thing along with a Mandy Dreams glitter film slate icon in green. Don't get a chance to use a lot of the green ones, so I was super excited to grab that. And then I had jury duty on this day, but the reason I put that um, with a little thing and not a like bigger sticker like a fancy label or a quarter box or anything like that is because um, I needed to get exempt because I do have school. I mean, would I love to sit in jury duty? I've never done it before, so I'm still kind of like, it sounds a little exciting. But um, yeah, I'm in school, so I really, if they pick me, like I can't, I can't because like I had exams. I just, I wouldn't have been able to do it. So I needed to get exempt, but I still had to go all the way to the courthouse to get exempt. And they found um, a full-fledged dissection kit in my backpack because you have to go through metal detectors and stuff. And the guy was like, oh, there's like a weird pair of scissors. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, wait, there are no scissors in my backpack. I'm like, oh no, because I take anatomy and physiology and I have like a scalpel and a knife and scissors and like all like picks and stuff. And I was like, oh my God. I'm like, that's not even mine. I'm holding it for my lab partner. Um, so I'm gonna need that back. Like, and he's like, oh, you can just like give it to the person at the front desk. And I was like, thank goodness. Because first of all, like I said, I didn't pay for that. And third of all, I needed it because I'm pretty sure we had a dissection this week. Also, fun fact, like we're moving over to Wednesday. I didn't go to my lab on Wednesday and we had a dissection. And it turns out it was our last dissection. So I'm very excited about that. So I gave it back to my lab partner just because I knew they might dissect. But now he can keep it because we're not dissecting anymore, which yay. So yeah, for jury duty, I put down a little thing and a random um, rose gold bow icon just because I don't really have jury duty stickers so I thought that'd be like random enough and like all I did was go and get dismissed so that was fine then I went ahead and went to Starbucks because I was going to be really early to class so I used a Moonlight Paper Co. Starbucks cup along with a Letters to Apollo Starbucks script and then when um I was waiting for my class to start. I actually found Dear Evan Hansen, like, the full play on YouTube. I'm not going to leave links or anything to it just because I think the more people that know, um, the faster it gets taken down. But I'm just saying, if you type in, like, Dear Evan Hansen, you will probably find it. You will be found. But, yeah, so I just sat and sobbed in my um school corridor because I was like this is this is so sad also this was April 1st so like happy April everyone um but for Dear Evan Hansen I did mark it with a little thing along with a tv um what is it a tv icon for that even though I watched it on my phone and on my laptop also like I said it was April Fool's Day and I came to class and found out that we have a test on Wednesday like our third exam for AMP and I was like ha ha you're so funny and the guy was like no it's either today or Wednesday and I went what because I hadn't even begun to study like my intention was to start start studying on Tuesday and that was me thinking oh I'm being so ahead and like so prepared ha 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 no I had to study two and a half chapters all on Tuesday but we will get to that so what else oh yeah so when I got home I needed to fold the laundry which I did while my cousin Julia came over and we had some emo chats so for marking the laundry, I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji in a pile of laundry. And then I grabbed this munchkin that's like a fairy princess with a crown to mark emo chats. It doesn't make sense, but I thought it was really funny because I was being like the fairy godmother and I was trying to help her with her life. So yeah, I thought that would be cute. Then I FaceTimed Kelly. So I used this Toffee Bananas FaceTiming sticker. And then while I was on the phone with Kelly, I was planning something. I was playing with stickers so planning time <laughs> so I marked that with a another emoji holding a bunch of washi and things like that 
So yeah, moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I needed to do was call back my doctor because she called me and I needed to pick up something that I didn't pick up when I was there. And I was like, no one told me to pick that up. And they were like, yeah, we did. And I'm like, no, you didn't. But okay, since you're the doctor, you think you're correct. Okay, so I had to call them back. Then I found out that um, Endgame tickets came out. So Avengers Endgame, the da 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 da, like the pin penultimate movie that all of us superhero Marvel fans have been waiting for. I am stupid excited. I've only watched one trailer. Well, two if you count the one that I ended up playing when um, I went to go see Captain Marvel. But other than that, I know nothing that's happening. I know nothing, Jon Snow. So yeah. Um, I bought Endgame tickets for me and my cousin to go. It's going to be super duper fun. I'm not going till the Monday, like the first Monday that it, it that happens after it's been released. So I'm going to have to be like off my phone and everything because I don't want to be spoiled. I messaged like the appropriate people that like I feel like would accidentally spoil me. And I was like, if you spoil me, I will hurt you. But yeah, so I'm super excited. I can't, I can't believe I have to avoid spoilers for like, four whole days because the movie now comes out like well it's like Friday but technically Thursday like people will have already seen it so it's gonna be a treat so yeah for marking the doctor appointment I used a um round I telephone icon and then I used Groot um from Once More With Love because he matched the kit and I love him so much like I don't know when else I'll get a chance to use him because I also have like Rocket and Star Lord stickers so when the other Guardians of the Galaxy movies come out I can use that then I needed to work on my lab report, so I used a stack of books foiled icon to mark that. And then I had to um, pick up a referral or pick up whatever the heck I needed to from the doctor. My mom actually went to go get it for me, so I used a stethoscope foil icon to mark that. And then this whole day was a full-fledged, non-stop study day, like, <gasps> Oh my god, the amount of information that I managed to stuff into my brain was intense. It was the digestive system and metabolics and nutrients and energetics. Holy crap, it was a lot. And the thing is, I was reading the digestive system and I kept getting hungry. Like I think I was reading everything and while I was reading it, how my body gets hungry, like I just got hungry. So it was the worst. I was eating everything and I'm like, I know exactly what's happening right now and I don't really like it. It's weird. So to mark studying all day, I used a toffee bananas studying sticker with a cup of coffee. I had a lot of coffee that day and then into the night because I didn't sleep that. It's like I studied from 10 a.m. on Tuesday until 8 a.m on Wednesday and then I left for class well actually I left for a dentist appointment and then left for class so it was like I did not sleep so um yeah I marked studying all day then I marked more coffee which I had about at like 1 a.m with a um munchkin <laughs> sipping from a really big cup of coffee and then I put down a um what is it oh a fancy label with a all-nighter munchkin with like nighttime in the background and a cup of coffee because that was me I'm amazed at myself because I did end up getting a C, which for learning and teaching myself everything in one night, I will take it. Like, great, fantastic. Now I know, like, I just need to study, like, 10 weeks before every chapter. Like, I should have been studying for the digestive system in December. Like, that's how fast these tests are, like, popping up. Oh, it's all intense. So on to Wednesday, even though Tuesday and Wednesday basically blended in together for me. The first thing that I did was go to Starbucks because who doesn't go to Starbucks right before a dentist or orthodontic appointment? So um, yeah, I used a, another Moonlight Paper Co. Starbucks sticker along with another one of the Letters to Apollo scripts. Then I marked that I, oh wait, I ended up switching the fancy label and the little thing, yeah. So um, I used a fancy label to mark my orthodontist appointment and then underneath that I, what did I do? Oh yeah, I used an at symbol to mark the appointment because like at appointment, yeah. And then underneath that I used a little thing and a um, dental munchkin, that's what I'm going to call it, to mark that I started my first tr first tray of Invisalign. I have to, I have I think about 28 trays which is going to like take me into about a year. So far so good. There was a lot of pressure on my mouth for like the first two days. Um... And when I took them off, those little buttons that they put on your teeth to, like, 
help the retainers hold on better. Those bothered me so much that I wouldn't eat a lot because it felt like food was stuck in my teeth when it wasn't. It was just those buttons and I was like, this is why they put buttons on your teeth so that you stick your Invisalign like straight back on. Like, so you're just putting your retainers on back on always. Like it's nuts. Now it's not so bad, but I'm still, I've still been good at the 22 hours thing. I got an app for it. What is it called? It's called like Trayminder or something like that. It's really handy. I don't know how long I'll be using it for. Hopefully for a very long time because I want to speed up the process. I know the 28 trays is like, they think, like they're expecting me not to wear these very, like to wear them often, but not like strictly at the 22 hours. So I want to see how long I can wear them strictly at 22 hours. So it cuts down the time that I need to be wearing them and then I can get a permanent retainer. I'm so excited. I'm going to be graduating dental hygiene with some nice ass teeth. It's going to be great. So after my orthodontic appointment, I spent uh, the few extra hours I had, hours, hours, the few extra hours I had um, studying. So I used a last minute cramming script that comes on the study sheet of Munchkins from Once More With Love. Then after that, I needed to mark my third lecture exam. So I used a fancy label from the glitter sampler. Um, fancy label? Yeah, fancy label from the glitter sampler. I didn't even write down what exam number it was. Wow, I was tired. Um, and I used the exam sticker that was an old $2 Tuesday from Scribble Prince Co. Then I did have two other classes that day, but I was so tired. Actually, after my test, I think I felt pretty okay, but I knew I was just like running on adrenaline, especially after grading the test and seeing that I passed, which was fantastic. Um, so I ended up going home and I marked that with a little thing and a home, like a house foiled icon. Then I wasn't expecting it, but I knocked out. And I always wonder why I write knock out instead of like took a nap or like fell asleep. But it's because I don't take naps. Like the only way I end up taking a nap is if I knock out. Like if <laughs> I'm sick and I knock out or if I didn't sleep the night before and I knock out like I didn't even realize I fell asleep until I woke up at like 11 p.m. So I feel like that's why I never write took a nap. Um, little fun anecdote for you there. So yeah, I used a fancy label and a glam planner teeny sleeping sticker the one with the pink hair. And then since I did wake up at like 11 p.m. And I got my period, so I had to take care of that. I didn't end up going back to sleep till like 1. So I just binge watched YouTube videos and I marked that with a little thing and a munchkin holding the YouTube play button. So that is Monday through Wednesday. Is this going swimmingly or am I just jinxing myself? I feel like this is going swimmingly. So the first thing I did on Thursday was fill out my planner. So Monday through Wednesday, I did end up filling in on... When did I fill it in? Yeah, on Thursday because like I was like, forget the planner. Like I need to study the digestive system and what the heck are nutrients and why is there glucose, glucagon, like gluconeogenesis. Oh my god. I was like, am I being like am I being pranked? Like did someone like rig my textbook? Like did someone just come take it in the middle of the night and switch up all the words and all the meanings and definitions to make it one word? That's that's where I was at studying for this test, guys. I really thought someone came into the middle of the night. Came in through the middle of the night and just gave me a new textbook. April Fools! Ha ha ha. So yeah, to mark the planning time, I used a half box along with a Toffee Bananas girl um, playing with her planner and a cup of coffee to mark that. And then while I was planning, I was, of course, watching Game of Thrones again. I got through re-watching this, like, the whole show pretty quickly. Right now, as I'm recording this, I'm watching Battle of the Bastards, and I love it, but I'm, like, halfway through it, so I don't get to the fun part yet. No spoilers. I feel like Game of Thrones has been out long enough. Like, it took me forever to start watching it the first time, but I still feel like a lot of people are getting into it because the last season's coming out, so no spoilers from me unless I accidentally say it, which my bad, but I won't give any away. But yeah. So I was watching Game of Thrones and I marked that with a little thing and a TV around icon, a foiled icon. Then one of Andrea's birthday gifts came in. So I marked that again with a little thing and a little um, envelope foiled icon sticker. Also, I do this really weird thing. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I figured I should because I'm doing it a lot. But basically, I'll take one of the... Um, one of the solid colored washi stickers for whenever I put down a little thing and a clear 
foiled icon. So not those circle ones. Those I'll put like white out on, but the ones that are just like a clear outline, I will put down the same color of the little thing, like I'll cut a little square, and then I'll put it on top of the icon already on the little thing. So then that way it looks seamless when I put down the foiled icon. Does that make any sense? I feel like if you hear what I say and then watch what I do, like see like I'm cutting off a little square off the like grayish one, the pink one, whoops. <laughs> I'm just sticking it over top. Wait, why did I do that there? That's silly. I could have whited it out, but I didn't. But you get the point. So then when I put down the envelope, you won't be able to see it on the grayish one. Come on, Jessica. Show and tell. Show us what you're doing. Okay, I'm going to grab this with this little one. What did I grab? The little letter. Come on. Grab the letter. Oh, you're going to cut it. Okay, cutting the grayish. Little square. Whoopsie daisy. Covering that. Ta-da. Wow, why is that weird? Okay, putting that down, and then the little letter goes over the top. I swear I'm not stalling. I just find this fascinating now. I'm in a trance. Okay, there you go. See? No whiteout, and it, like, blends right in. Perfect. Great. And I'm using up more of my stickers because I feel like I don't use any of the washi anymore. So there I am using up my stickers. Okay, so Thursday was also burrito day and my sister actually got us Chipotle, which is why I marked burrito day. And instead of watching Chipotle for dinner, well, marking Chipotle for dinner, I was like, let me put happy burrito day. So I put down a fancy, a pattern fancy label along with a wonton in a million steamy sticker holding a burrito. Usually I'm a burrito bowl kind of gal, but I felt like for the holiday... I just needed to get a burrito. And then after that, I needed to, I didn't need to. I worked on my post-lab questions so I could leave lab quicker. So I did that. Um, I used a little thing and a um, foiled paperclip sticker. Then I put down another um, fancy label and marked that I set up listings for my doodle shop, which I've been neglecting, but Andrea Scribble Prince Co. released a kit called Akio Pink, which is like a Harry Potter kit that's all pink, and it's beautiful. If you guys haven't picked up that kit, she has it at an Ultimate. She has it in a TN kit. Don't know if it came in a mini kit, because that's how much I pay attention, but it's really, really pretty. And I put out some of my Harry Potter doodles in like that millennial pink color, so I needed to set up the listings for that. Then the last thing I marked that day was that I had a sleepover with my puppy Chippy because he was hurting, something was hurting him, and he was whining every time he got up, but I was like, my sister and my mom need to go to work, and since I am in the basement, I figured, I was like, I'll take him, I don't sleep anyway, which I found out things about sleep and how like it involves your health, and how like if I don't sleep, I have a shorter lifespan, Found things out like that, and I'm like, now I regret taking him under my wing. But I figured if he was whining, like, it's no big deal if he wakes me up because all I have to do is go to my lab class. I know, I'm so selfless. <laughs> but yeah, I just had a little sleepover with him. I kept checking up on him, and if he started crying, I could, like, be there for him, and I wouldn't have to worry about going to work. So yeah, I marked that with a little thing and a little paw print, um icon then moving on to Friday I ended up waking up early because my mom and my sister came into my room to check up on Chippy who's my puppy um and they did it very very quietly yeah mm -hmm. so at like 6 40 I was awake so I marked that with a little thing in a glam planner super tired teeny sticker and then I put down a um fancy label because I didn't have to leave for school for a very long time and um, I just ended up watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I was going through my watch later list. And then I put down a little thing and another pop print icon and wrote poor Chippy because he still wasn't feeling good. And my sister who loves my puppy so, 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 so much, um, she was like really sad. She even missed work to take him to the vet because like we just didn't know what was wrong with him, which like funny like story. It's not really a funny story, but on Thursday, like that's like, like we took him to the vet. And then he came back and was worse. Like, he's only going in for a checkup, and then he came back really bad. So we don't know what happened there, but he ended up going to the vet. Again, he's fine now. We don't know what happened, like, but he's better now, so I guess that's okay. I don't know. Um, then that was a really bad little square. Am I going to put it on top? Oh, yeah, I guess it kind of blocks it. But then before I left for school, I watched RuPaul's Drag Race, which I love this season so much. I love... Um, I love Evie Oddly. She's so cute. And Plastic Tierra is always just so pretty. So I love her too. Um, okay. So I'm, oh, wait. And Brooklyn Heights. Wow. Do I love Brooklyn Heights. 
So after that, um, me and my cousin went to go see Captain Marvel, which was amazing. I feel like the reviews have been so-so about it, but I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I feel like probably because my expectations were kind of low, so I enjoyed it a lot more. To be honest, I enjoyed the movie, but I enjoyed my bucket of popcorn and Buncher Crunch. If you've never had, like, Buncher Crunch in your popcorn, do it. It's life-changing. My sister's boyfriend told me that, like, about it when we went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody together. And I was like, <gasps> this is actually, like, life-changing. It was so good. So to mark Captain Marvel, I used the movie marquee that came in the kit along with a little emoji with a bucket of popcorn. Just so I remember my bucket of popcorn, I was actually going to put it as its own little thing. But I did watch a lot of Game of Thrones, so I wanted to use this, what is it? Yeah, this uh, quarter, squared off quarter box sticker. So I used that and then the medium sized sort of emoji watching TV because I watched a lot of Game of Thrones. Yeah. So then moving on to Saturday, I finally got a chance to sleep in and boy did I didn't wake up till noon. And I, like this time, I know I've been complaining about like waking up at noon, but I needed it. Like I just was not like I was not getting any sleep by my own doing because I needed to get stuff done and I really want to pass like. Uh, it's a really it's really bad like I feel like um what is it medical students or like healthcare professional students learn about all the ways like your body needs sleep needs nutrition it needs all this this and that but we're like the least likely ones to get it because we don't have time because we need to study how our everyone else's body works like it's just weird but yeah so I marked sleep in with a coffee monsters co a sleep in sticker and pillow on top of a um pattern piece of washi and then I placed down the second uh squared off half box that comes with the kit and used a whimsical cat studio girl on a bike because it was a beautiful day outside and me and my sister went on a bike ride which was great but something weird happened with my tire where the rubber popped out of the metal and for some reason I don't know how it happened but it happened and we needed to call my mom and be like hey can you pick us up because yeah there's no way we're getting home on these bikes so Luckily, she was able to come get us. Otherwise, we'd be stuck at the park until she did. But yeah, it was really nice to go on a bike ride. And I can't wait to go for many more. And hopefully my wheels don't break or spontaneously com combust or something like that. So yeah, when I got home, I had a Amazon package waiting for me. It was like those little like travel size toothbrushes. And then I got a skirt to finish off my Hufflepuff uniform, which I'm totally gonna wear to the Wizarding, um, the Warner Brothers tour in London when I go. I am so excited. It looks so cute. I look so Hufflepuffy. Oh wait, I need to get the sweater, but it's cheapest in London, surprisingly. So I'm probably gonna wait to get that when we're over there, but oh my God, I'm so excited for all the pictures and to see everything. It's gonna be so good. So yeah, to mark the Amazon package, I used a little thing and a packing foiled icon then after that I wanted to mark that of course I was watching more Game of Thrones so I used a little thing and a TV icon and then I convinced my sister to take me to Carvel to get a soft serve twisty cone because I was really craving it like really bad so we went there and I used another oh wait I guess I didn't yeah so I ended up using a wonton in a million steamy sticker holding a um a cone of ice cream with three different scoops and then when I got home, I just filmed um, my plan with me. I needed to do Thursday and Friday. And then I did a face mask because I have a really bad breakout on my forehead. And I was like, this will fix it. So I did a face mask and I marked the plan with me with a emoji holding an edit banner. And for the face mask, I used a face mask foil icon. Yeah. Wow, look at me go. Ha ha ha. Should we move on to Sunday? Let's just move on to Sunday. I'm sure planner me will catch up with voice over me eventually. So last but not least, we are on a Sunday on Sunday. The that was a lot of Sundays. The first thing I did was actually um, put my bed sheets and blankets to wash. So I used a little thing and a munchkin making the bed for that. And then I filmed as much of this plan with me as I could before leaving for Sunday. I couldn't fill in Sunday, but I figured it was a nice encompassment of filming in the day and then filming the rest when I got home. So I used a munchkin on a laptop to mark that. I kind of wish I moved the munchkin over a little bit, but it is what it is. Then I used a squared off quarter box sticker along with a happy dia 
like traveling tourist um, girl to mark that we went to the vessel, which is this new big architectural structure that was built in the Hudson Yard, which is also now open and has a bunch of like these bougie shops in it. It was really cool. My architectural geekiness was a quivering fun fact. How many fun facts are in this video? But I actually wanted to be an architect straight out of high school. But my mom told me there was no money in architecture. And I was like, what's she talking about? And then like five years later, she was like, wait, you wanted to be an architect? And I'm like, yes. And, she, and I'm like, you told me there was no money in it. And she was like, what? Why would I say that? And I was like, oh, my God. Mind you, this is when I was like stuck doing psychology and I just could not graduate. I was just the worst. But I love architecture so much. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really fascinating how like different shapes and different things can be built out of buildings and how there's like a rhyme and reason for the way things are built. I just love it so much. But yeah, so we went to go see the vessel, me, my, my dad and my sister. So I marked that with all that shebang. And then we ended up going into the shops that are behind the vessel um which is really cool too it's like five stories high there's restaurants and they're shopping and it's just like there's a lot of like interactive stuff between like all the stores so like even if you're not like like window shopping is actually a lot of fun but even if you're not like buying anything because everything is like hella expensive um like it's really like fun to just walk around and see all these like weird installations because they're all interactive so that's a lot of fun so to mark the shopping at uh, the shops at Hudson Yard, I used a little thing along with a paper and milk shopping bag sticker. And then while we were browsing around the shops, I found out that there was a Dylan's candy bar there, which I freaking love candy, guys. Like, ugh, so good. Um, so I, it wasn't like this big like spectacle or anything, but I really wanted to use this fancy label so that I could put the sticker that I wanted to on top which was the Toffee Bananas girl with like just jars of candy surrounding her. And I didn't want to cut any of it off. So that's why I put down a fancy label, even though it wasn't like this big whole event, which is what I kind of like, like big important things. It was a big important thing, Dylan's candy bar going there. So that's why I get the, the fancy label. Then after that, we went to go eat dinner at this place called Pennsylvania 6. We were just walking around. We found it. We wanted to go to this ramen place, but there was a really long line. Which probably meant it was good, but I was getting really hangry. So that was not good. So I marked that with a squared off um, quarter box and a foiled meal icon. And then the last thing, of course, I marked was Game of Thrones. And I used a little thing along with a binge emoji sticker to mark that. Oh, God. <laughs> Planner just beat me. So, yes. This is the week in full. I really love how it turned out. I love these green colors. It's just so different, but so nice and kind of like cold, springy. What is that squeaking noise? Oh my God. Wow. That was terrifying. It was my planner squeaking against my laptop, but I was like, where is there a mouse in here? Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Sorry about the really random introduction. Normal scheduled plan with me is like the norm. We'll begin again next Monday. Next Monday's kit is going to be so cute, you guys. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So, yeah. Again, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!